friends pagination means displaying data in multiple pages instead of displaying a large number of rows in a single page it is always better to display them using pagination for performance improvement and better user experience i'll show how to display data using laravel pagination and also we'll display the same data using jquery data tables then we'll discuss the pros and cons for each of these methods first we'll quickly develop a laravel application to display the data in an html table using pagination so i have a laravel folder in f drive and here i'll go to command prompt and i'll create a laravel project here lara underscore page so this is the project name while the project is being created let us create a database for this project in mysql database let's give the database name as pagination okay the project is created so let's see in our explorer so lara page folder is created we'll go to command prompt and we'll open the project in visual studio code code dot so we go to environment file and we'll change the database here we'll change it to mysql and our database name is pagination we'll use the username as root and there is no password for the user root now we'll open the terminal we'll run the migration let's see the tables so the tables are created we will use the users table for our project we will not create any new table and we will create some dummy data in the users table by running the database seeder so we will create some dummy data in the users table and we will use the db seeder for laravel we will change the database seeder comment out this and uncomment this we'll create 50 rows we'll create 50 rows in the users table then run db seed let's see so you can see there are 50 rows created in the users table so we'll use this data for our project create a controller so we'll create a user controller we'll create an index method and here we'll select the data from the user table user model is already available so we'll get everything from the users table so as of now i am just using the get method to get all the data from the users table then we'll create an index view and send the data to the view let's create the view now we'll create a layouts folder first and we'll create the header here we'll use bootstrap 5 cdn so let's get that so this is bootstrap 5 copy it and paste it here we don't need this change the title
will create a master layout Let's create the index view. It's main content. We'll display the list of users in this view. We'll use a bootstrap 5 HTML table. Now let's see the table. We'll display ID, name, email, and let's take another column created at. So there will be four columns. So we'll use a for each loop here. So four columns. And if there is no row, we'll be displaying no users found. So let us create the route, comment out this, add a route, we have user controller and we will be using index method. So we will start the server now. Okay, so the data is displayed now in the HTML table. We can see the data. There are 50 users. Now we are just getting the data from the database and displaying the data in an HTML table. We have not used pagination. So let's add the pagination now. So instead of get, we'll use paginate method and we'll display 10 rows per page. And then we'll change index.php. Just after the table, add dollar data links. Let's refresh it. So data is displayed now. You can see the pages are displayed. You can see there are 10 rows in this page and you can click on next it displays the rows for different pages let's change the table a little bit we will use table bordered and give a background here use the class table dark refresh it now we'll display the pagination in a better way and we will use bootstrap 5 go to providers app service provider we will use bootstrap 5 here for the pagination go to the boot method and here use bootstrap 5 Now refresh it. So you can see the paginations displayed here. So if you click on any page number, you will get the data corresponding to that page.
So here Laravel is fetching the required data from the database when requested. So now let's use the jQuery data tables to display the same data without using Laravel pagination. We'll go to user controller. We'll use the get method here. So now we'll have to use data tables. So we'll use jQuery libraries for that. First we'll add a footer here. We'll use jQuery libraries in this footer. We'll use bootstrap 5. And here, so we are using data table.js and we'll use another JS here. And this is data tables.bootstrap5.js. And also you have to use jQuery CDN. So these three libraries we have used. And then in the header, we need to add data table CSS also. jQuery data tables, select bootstrap 5 and select the CSS. So we'll use data tables.bootstrap5.css. So we have added data tables.bootstrap5.css and jQuery library in the footer data tables.js and data tables.bootstrap5.js. So now we have to add the footer in our master layout. Now go to index view. Here we don't need this. Just remove this. Data is being displayed in the HTML table. That's fine. So we'll just add a little bit jQuery script here. So use push.js. Let us give an ID for the table here. Dollar document dot ready function. Use that ID. So we are using data table method. And because we are using push.js here, we need to add that in a no master for stack.js. So let us refresh now. So now you can see there is a change here. You can select page number. It will give the data corresponding to that page. You can change the number of rows per page. So if you select 25, 25 rows are selected. You can search specific user. Let us search this. So you can search it. You can change the number of rows per page. You can sort also. So if you click on ID here, it is displaying in descending order. You can click on name. So in addition to the pagination, you can see there are other features available for data tables. And this is very fast. Processing is done in the client side. That is in the browser. Let's see the pros and cons for data tables and Laravel pagination. jQuery data tables are lightweight, flexible and user friendly. In addition to pagination, you can do searching, sorting, and also you can change the number of rows to be displayed per page easily. It works efficiently for smaller data set and it works as client side processing. So it works very fast. 
you don't need to write additional code just add the libraries and write a couple of lines of jquery code but it can be slow for larger data sets and additional overheads are there for using the libraries you can use jquery data tables as server side processing also in that case you have to write advanced jquery code to fetch the data from the database using ajax on the other hand laravel pagination works well for small and large data set it is already integrated in laravel so you don't need to add additional libraries only the requested data is presented from the server when you click a page searching sortings are not readily available in laravel pagination you need to write additional code for them and it's a server side processing and server interaction is there for every page request so for your project you need to understand the requirement and also consider the data volume while choosing the laravel pagination or jquery data tables for large data set choose the server side processing for performance improvement hope this was useful to you see the description of this video for the related links if you like it please give a like and subscribe to my channel thank you